Yukata are most often worn for summer dance festivals and other outings like viewing summer fireworks. This time, let's try to wear summer cotton kimono yukata. Yukata is easy and a lot of fun. Let's try! These are the things that you'll need to dress in a yukata. The yukata, an obi, a kimono slip, two towels, three koshi himo or soft ties, a date jime or belt, an obi ita or a stiffener. It's best to wear something underneath a yukata for comfort and to keep it clean. Any kind of undergarment is fine, either a kimono undergarment or camisole and slip, just so long as it doesn't show at the front or back of the collar. Next, the body line. When wearing a yukata or kimono, it's important to have a straight line from shoulders to hips. Yes, a waistless body is key. It might seem a little odd at first, but you will soon grow fond of the look. You can create a straight line by using thin towels at the waist. The towels are secured with a soft tie, called a koshi himo. If you have an extra wide belt or date jime, it's probably a good idea to use it here. Remember, you'll be adding a yukata and obi on top of this layer, so your profile doesn't have to be straight just yet, only after the obi sash is added. Next, let's put on the yukata you've carefully selected for the occasion. Slip the yukata on from behind. Reach inside each sleeve hem and pull outward horizontally until the yukata settles on your shoulders. Ah, it's a bit long, isn't it? Kimono are made longer than necessary and we adjust the height by folding the fabric at the waist. Hold the front at the opening with one hand and reach to the center back with your other hand, raising the yukata. Now let the hem back down slowly until the hem reaches your ankles. Next, pull the front part outward with one hand so that the back moves up tightly against your hips. Don't let the back hem drop below the ankle. Continue to hold the front. Now let's arrange the front. First, using two hands, open both front panels. Bring the left panel across your front to your right hip bone to measure the front panel. Note how we keep the back of the yukata position firm against the hips. Return to open position, then pull the right panel to your left hip bone, lifting as you go. Try to sweep the yukata across the floor when you do so, lifting it 12 centimeters at the inner corner. Then cover your front with the left panel, also sweeping it across the floor and lifting about five centimeters at the corner. Here is how it looks at the hemline when you do this. Now the length and width are correct. You maintain this using a soft tie or koshi himo, literally hip tie. Keep what you will need within easy reach. Grasp the tie near the center. You will tie the koshi himo tightly at the waist. Wrap it around you. Tie a bow and slide the end of the koshi himo under itself. Keep the bow tie knot off center so the front isn't too thick. Once again, this first koshi himo should be tied tightly. If it is not tight enough, the fold may drop down. Mother, what are you doing? Oops. I was a little hungry. As you can see, always left panel comes over right. Left over right. Left over right. 
This is the most important thing when you wear a kimono. So if you forget, please remember. Leftover rice. Gochisousama deshita. Look at the lovely hemline. Be sure to tie the koshihimo tightly around your waist. And don't forget, left comes over right. Now we'll settle the fold by using our hands like tegatana or hand knives. Put your hands inside the kimono by slipping them in the side slits. Now perform a bit of chop chop. Slide them around the back and do the same. Now you have a nice fold. If you are tall and the yukata is not long enough to make a fold, then that's all right. Just tie your koshihimo around the waist without a fold. Now we'll adjust the upper section. It is elegant to let the back of the neck show a little when you wear a yukata. Pull down at the back from the seam at the waist. Drop the yukata low, then pull it back up again. The ideal distance is about three finger widths from the back of the neck 